morning panic. It is 6.30 a.m. You wake up, you stretch your legs, and suddenly you feel it. A pinch in your knee, a throb in your shin, a tightness in your Achilles, and immediately the panic sets in. You stand there in your pajamas debating with yourself, should I run? If I run, will I break something and be out for six months? But if I don't run, am I just being lazy? Am I giving up too easily? This internal debate is the most common source of anxiety for runners. We live in fear of the big injury. But here's the truth that most doctors won't tell you. Running is a high impact sport. Pain is inevitable. If you wait until you are 100% pain free to train, you will never train. However, not all pain is created equal. There is good pain, the pain of adaptation, and there is bad pain, the pain of destruction. Confusing the two is what gets you injured. The Promise In this video, I am going to give you a specific diagnostic tool called the Traffic Light Protocol. I will teach you how to distinguish between the aches you can run through, green light, the aches that need caution, yellow light, and the one specific type of pain that means you must stop immediately, red light. By the end of this video, you won't need to guess. You will know exactly when to push and when to pull the brake. Part 1. The green light, the noise of construction. Let's start with the pain you should ignore. We call this green light pain. This is usually D-O-M-S, delayed onset muscle soreness or general fatigue. Here's how to identify it. It is generalized. You can't point to it with one finger. It covers a large area like your whole quadricep. It is symmetric. Usually both legs feel a bit heavy or sore. It gets better with movement. The more you walk around the kitchen, the better it feels. This pain is not damage. It is construction noise. Imagine your muscles are a construction site. When workers are building a skyscraper, is it quiet? No. There is banging, drilling, and noise. When you train, you are tearing down muscle to build it back stronger. That process is noisy. If you feel this heavy, dull ache, go run. Your body is just telling you it's working. Do not let discomfort trick you into laziness. Part 2. The yellow light. The 10-minute rule. Now we enter the tricky zone, the yellow light. This is where 80% of running pains live. This is a stiffness in the Achilles, a pinch in the knee, or a tightness in the hamstring. Should you run? To decide, think of a frozen rubber band. If you take a cold rubber band and pull it fast, it snaps. But if you warm it up in your hands, it becomes elastic and strong. Your tendons are often just cold rubber bands. So, apply the 10-minute rule. Start your run, run very slowly for 10 minutes. Then, ask yourself, has the pain subsided or has it stayed the same? Scenario A, the pain disappears or gets significantly better. Verdict, you warmed up the rubber band, you are safe, continue. Scenario B, the pain stays exactly the same or gets slightly worse. Verdict, the rubber band is fraying, stop the run immediately. The clinical eye. Note, in my experience analyzing the training logs of hundreds of runners, I see a dangerous pattern here. Beginners focus on the intensity of the pain. Pros focus on the trend. If a pain is a 3 out of 10 today, but it was a 2 out of 10 last week, that is an upward trend. Even if the pain is low, the trend is fatal. Most self-coached runners miss this trend until it's too late. They ignore the yellow light until it turns red. Part 3. The red light, the danger zone. Now we need to talk about the pain that implies zero tolerance. This is the pain that, if you ignore it, will put you in a medical boot for three months. We are talking about bone stress and acute tears. How do you identify red light pain? Use the coin test. Characteristic number one, the coin test pinpoint pain. This is the most accurate test for a stress fracture. Can you locate the pain with one single finger? 
If you can press on a spot on your shin bone and cover the entire pain with a small coin, stop. Muscle pain is spread out. Bone pain is pinpoint. If you have pinpoint pain on a bone, do not test it. You are running on a cracked chassis. Park the car immediately. Characteristic number two, the sharp factor. Green light pain is dull. Red light pain is sharp, stabbing, or electric. If every time your foot lands you feel a sharp zap, like stepping on a nail, that is your nervous system screaming. Muscles ache. Injuries stab. There is no pushing through stabbing pain. Characteristic number three, the night throb. This is a sneaky one you run during the day. It hurts a little, but then at night, while you are lying in bed doing nothing, your leg starts to throb, but it has a pulse of its own. This is a sign of deep bone trauma. If it hurts at rest, the structure is compromised. Do not run tomorrow. Part four, the 24 hour assessment and the science of load. Let's say you ran yesterday on a yellow light. How do you know if you made the right decision? You have to assess the 24 hour reaction. Wake up the next morning. Is the pain worse than it was yesterday morning? Yes, you overloaded the tissue. No, stable. You successfully stimulated the tissue. The hidden math of injury? Here is where we need to get scientific. Most runners think injuries are bad luck. I stepped wrong. My shoes were old. This is rarely true. Injuries are almost always a mathematical error. We call it the acute to chronic workload ratio. When I act as a coach, I don't look at your pain. I look at your math. If you increased your load by 30% in one week, your tissues mathematically cannot adapt fast enough. The injury was not an accident. It was a prediction. The reason you keep getting injured is likely not because you have weak knees, but because your math is wrong. And without an external audit of your training load, you will keep making the same calculation error forever. Part five, the mathematics of loss. I want to address the reason you ignore red lights. You are afraid that if you rest, you will lose your fitness. Let's look at the numbers. Physiologically, it takes 14 days of zero activity to start losing significant fitness. Taking three days off because of a red light costs you zero fitness. In fact, you usually come back stronger because the inflammation is gone. But if you ignore the red light, if you turn a stress reaction into a stress fracture, that is eight to 12 weeks of no running. That is when you lose fitness. That is when you gain weight. The smart runner knows that taking three days off now saves three months off later. It's not weakness, it's strategy. Conclusion, why you need an objective eye. Your body is an amazing machine, but it doesn't speak English. It speaks in signals and, and here's the problem. You are an unreliable translator. When you are in the middle of a training block, you are emotional. You want the goal so badly that you will lie to yourself. You will convince yourself that a red light is actually yellow. This is why elite runners have coaches. It's not because they don't know how to run. It's because they need an objective third party, a cold eye, to look at the data without emotion. They outsource the decision making so they don't have to carry the anxiety. A coach is simply an insurance policy against your own enthusiasm. The invitation. Now, navigating these signals on your own can be stressful. Sometimes a pain lingers for weeks and you just don't know. Is this healing or am I making it worse? If you want proactive routines to keep your body in the green zone, I have uploaded specific injury prevention plans inside the membership channel. But if you are tired of the anxiety, if you are staring at a red light or a stubborn yellow light and you want an expert to look at your math and make the decision for you, I invite you to get a training audit. Send me a message or an email with the word audit. I will review your pain history, your volume, and your intensity trends. I will tell you if you are safe to proceed or if you are about to cross a dangerous line. Don't gamble with your legs. 
let me do the math for you. Send me the message. Let's keep you running for life. Your running journey powered by science.